little bit nervous. Preparing gay dada with your bare hands and he's starting to move a little bit. Whoa. My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! You know? Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. Look at this! The Namib Desert is home to some of the biggest dunes in the world. It's also home to a snake that is able to move effortlessly through these dunes with a sidewinding motion. It's called the Perengay Dada. Come on, let's go. In order to find the Perengay Dada, I've got a drive extremely slowly along the side of the slip face of these dunes and I'm looking for any tracks of the sidewinder. Now because it has that particular motion it has a very characteristic track so with luck I'll be able to see a track and then just keep following it. It always sounds easier than it actually is. A lizard up on the side of the dunes. Shovel snout and lizard, it's so hard to get close to them. So he's starting to move, he's moving. Did you see did you see him dive in? He's in there. 100 percent The lizard has dived head first about 10 centimetres deep into the sand. So I've got to feel around for him. Woo! We got him! Wow! Yes! <laughs> that is amazing! In the deep of the sand! That is crazy! Shovel, snouted lizard. That lizard is amazingly well adapted for living on the side of these dunes. Those massive feet, you can see how quick he moves across the dunes. So effortlessly, there's no way I could do it. I'm just sliding all over the place. Because it's so hot on this sand in the middle of the day, they actually can stand on only two legs at once. So they'll go like this, whoop, 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 to keep it as cool as possible. And the other thing, as you can see, that snout, it looks like a spade, almost like a duck bill, and allows him just to go boom, straight in. Wow, what a pleasure to meet you, shovel snouted lizard. Well, I'm gonna let him go now. Whoa! Let's keep going and start searching for the sidewinder. Well, that was lucky. I almost got stuck. You can see how if you're an animal living in these dunes, your main thing that you need to be able to do is gain traction on this soft sand. So my plan now is to go on foot. See these tracks along there? That's a lizard. Really, really easy to see those tracks in this soft sand. It's not the sidewinder. Let's keep going. Lizard! <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop. He's quick. Whoop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like literally underneath your foot. So lift it up slowly. Go on. This actually is a different type of species. Very, very similar to the shovel snouted in the same genus, but you can see hasn't quite got that kind of duck build shaped head. So this one is very well adapted to run across the sand in exactly the same way. Look at those feet but it just hasn't got quite the adaptation for being able to just dive straight through the sand. That's why it was a bit easier because he more runs along, tries to outpace you. Cute little lizard, I'll let him go back into his dollar bush. OK, 
Okay, this, this track here, looks very, very faint, but it's exactly what I'm after. You see these horizontal lines going up and down this dune? That is a sidewinder. Absolutely no question about it. I'm gonna see if I'm finding the next part of this track. I'm not gonna leave until we find it. That is a way more fresh track from before in this quite hard sand. This is really, really fresh. Okay, so some dollar bushes down there. My bet is that that sidewinder has just moved along here to try and find some shade. Let's keep going. We're on the track of a sidewinder. Right, here we go. The tracks continue. Dollar bush right there. My guess is there is a sidewinder hidden. Let's just look along here slowly and carefully. Wow, yes! Woo! Peringay's at her right there! He's just burying himself in. That is the cutest little thing. Just the head is popping out of that sand. It's almost like a crocodile waiting in ambush underneath the water. Those eyes literally are so unique, right on the top of their head in order to allow this snake to remain buried underneath the sand with just the head popping out. It's super hot out here. You wouldn't want to be completely exposed. This is a perfect position as well. If he was waiting in ambush for prey to come along. We've seen lizards that use these bushes in order to remain cool. So he's staying in the perfect position. He's tracked along and they're just hidden down there. Look at that. I'm just gonna come around the other side. Oh, he's moving. The pairing cage adder out of the sand. Absolutely remarkable. Tiny little snake. But the thing is, this one is just special, an absolutely special snake. It's able to get the moisture from his skin. In the morning, we saw that mist. When it gets very misty, all of that water just kind of gets onto the surface of his skin and he licks it off. Not only that, his prey, the summer snouted lizard, also has a second bladder, which allows this snake to be able to absorb the moisture from the actual lizard itself. And that sidewinding movement, of course, is an incredible way of just propelling themselves across this sand. Not many other snakes would be able to move across this sand. It's very hard to keep that traction, but the sidewinder has learned how to do it. And being able to bury down is something that's quite unique. The way he's just going like this to get inside the sand, to get underneath, in order to remain camouflaged, but also to stay away from that heat. And to be able to absorb as much moisture from every single source is just incredible. For me, the Peringay's adder, the Sidewinder adder, really is the pinnacle of evolution. So I'm just gonna pull him out of the uh, sand here. I do have to be very careful because it has a particular venom that could cause quite bad swelling and necrosis. Oh, moving. Look at that. The Sidewinder is really moving across this sand, how you would expect. It's amazing how it's actually moving. Look at that. Wow. Going across this dune with absolute pure ease. That movement is just incredible. Look at him. Almost you can see as well, lifting parts of that body whilst it's moving. So there's only half of a body necessarily on the sand at once. But this is why they call the sand wider. You can see why, because that is just characteristic of this snake. Okay, going up that dune. Really, this is steep. I wouldn't be able to even walk up this dune too easy. But that snake is managing to push himself up. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. There you go. A little bit nervous. There you go. The pairing gaze adder. You can really see that patterning now out of that sand. Just looks just like the grains of the sand that's on my hand. There's no other snake I'd probably want to do this with. Definitely no other adder species. Still have to be very careful because they can strike out super quick. But I reckon I'm pushing my luck a little bit. But that's a kind of almost like a bucket list thing to do, to pick up a pairing gaze adder with your bare hands through the sand. And he's starting to move a little bit. I'm going to put him down. Whoa, there he goes. The pairing gaze adder. Yes. <laughs>